These are my ends. They're my pride and joy. Why, you ask? Because they're my ancestors. Without them, there'll be no this. So many people are convinced that their hair doesn't grow or it grows really slow. But 90% of the time, it's an illusion. If you're breathing and in good health, trust me, your hair is growing pretty fast actually. On average, hair grows about four to seven inches a year. In just two years, that's like 12 inches. That's a lot of length. But if you don't go out of your way to care for your ends, it can feel like your hair is not growing. But in reality, your ends are just breaking faster than your new growth is growing. Of course, there are things you can do to temporarily boost growth and help your follicles push out thicker and stronger hair strands. But the bread and butter to length retention has more to do with how you care for your hair after it's grown out. The youngest, strongest hairs on your head are your roots or new growth. Your roots are also really close to your scalp, which can easily get irritated and shut everything down. And the oldest and physically weakest hairs on your head are your ends because they've been by your side through manipulations, setbacks, knots, tangles, and heat. So they've earned their scars and need to be handled with the most care. Because of these differences, I have a regimen for my roots and a regimen for my ends. So every time I handle my hair, I automatically treat and handle these two sections differently. That sometimes means adding tension to my roots and no tension to my ends or twisting my roots and coiling my ends, or using heat on my roots and only cool blast my ends. It's all based on what I'm doing. So for this video, I put together four things I do to keep my ends as full and healthy as possible. These are not set in stone and may look different based on your hair type and regimen. So what really matters is your mentality and understanding of your hair. Being natural is a true journey. Over the years, as my hair grew out, it changed. I started to notice that every time I wear my hair in a shrunken state, I would experience tons of breakage and get thousands of single strand knots all over, but mainly on my ends. These mother set me back for like a year. So if this sounds like you, I think it's important for me to show you exactly what's going on. Let's pretend this is a section of your hair. When it's wet, the water weighs it down and on a microscopic level reduces the friction between each hair strand, like a protective coat. Even with products, water evaporates and as your hair dries, it shrinks. On the surface, it looks like all your hair strands are shrinking together at the same rate. But if you take a closer look, each hair strand is shrinking at different rates. Each bend and twist acts like a spring going in different directions. And as they shrink, they wrap around each other, knot up and create friction and tangles. This is more dramatic for hair types like mine. At this stage of my journey, in order to retain length, I found that keeping my hair stretched solves this problem. So if you're overwhelmed with knots and you're having a hard time retaining length, try stretching your hair. That should do the trick. Below are links to videos where I show you my complete heat and stretch regimen with tons of detail. No matter how low in porosity your hair is, your ends are always going to be higher in porosity, so they have a harder time holding on to moisture and they dry out fast. And when they're dry, they chip off little by little. By the time you notice it, it can feel like your hair got shorter. So keeping your ends moisturized and lubricated is very important for length retention. The goal is to stay ahead of the dryness. Don't wait for them to dry out before moisturizing them. Moisturize your ends before they dry out. I make it a habit to check my ends every couple of days or so to make sure they're not dry.
at the end of the day, your ends will naturally weather and thin out. The best you can do is slow down the rate of damage so you can retain as much length as possible. Trims are a personal decision. I personally don't like holding on to ends that are dramatically weathered. So I trim off about a fourth of an inch three times a year and I dust funky looking ends often. It's perfectly okay to just dust your ends. You don't have to get full blown trims. The lower maintenance you are with your hair, the less you have to trim. Below are links to videos where I go over split ends in more detail and why our ends have a different texture than the rest of our hair. Before going natural, I was relaxed and wore weaves from time to time. Being gentle with my hair was not a priority. Now that I'm natural, through trial and error, I've learned that less is more. It took me some time to unlearn and relearn how to handle my hair. And to be honest, it's made a huge difference. You can stretch your hair, keep your ends moisturized, get trims all you want. But the fact remains the same. Your ends are fragile and will thin all the way out if you're heavy handed or mess with them too much. What helped me the most is to think of my ends as a separate section from the rest of my hair. So every time I handle my hair, I automatically think of my ends as a separate fragile object. Because of that, I either skip my ends or deliberately handle them with more care. Hey, so you're watching this video and you're giving your ends the side eye. But if length retention is important to you, you don't have to run out and get a haircut. If you want to get to a place where your ends are full and healthy, the first thing to do is to identify and stop whatever caused them to get damaged in the first place. Then use these tips to come up with a game plan that preserves your ends. And as your hair continues to grow out, dust your ends occasionally. If you stick with it, you'll be able to retain length and get your ends back to health at the same time. I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.